Hello everyone and welcome to The Bargain Bin, where I review cheap games for poor gamers. This week our budget is $20 and we are using it to purchase a store! That's right, this week you are spending a mere $20 to achieve your capitalist dreams of being a wealthy business owner. Welcome to Reset Tier, an item shop game for the PC. It is exactly what it sounds like. A game about owning and running an item shop. As in, the item shops you see in so many of your other games. Now, you get to play the other side of the counter and rob adventurers of their hard-earned wealth. You play the game as Reset, a young girl who finds herself suddenly burdened with her missing father's extraordinary debt. Enter Tyr, a lone shark of a fairy who is sent by the loan company to help you figure out a way to pay off your father's debt without resorting to selling your house or your organs. She suggests turning the place into an item shop, and Reset takes to the idea like a hobo on a ham sandwich. Capitalism ho! The goal of the game is simple. Run a successful business and make enough money to eventually pay back daddy's loan. You get to decide what you stock, how your shop is laid out, and you set your own prices. Customers will come in looking to buy what you're selling, and your job is to figure out how much money you can squeeze out of them without making them storm out in disgust at your exorbitant prices. The more frequently a customer comes to your store, the better a price you can get from them as their trust in your business goes up. People will also come in looking to sell things, too, and you must haggle them down as low as possible so that tomorrow, when they come back, you can sell their things back to them at a profit. Isn't running a business fun? There's three ways of obtaining merchandise to sell. You can purchase it from the market or merchant's guild, where the items are good quality but the prices are non-negotiable and often rather high. You can purchase from customers who are looking to sell, but there's always a chance you'll lose their offer if you try and push too low. Or you can hire an adventurer and go combing for loot in the dungeons. The dungeon thing is a little bizarre. The way the game explains it, you and Tyr hit up dungeons by hiring an adventurer, hereafter known as Meat Shield, to kill all the things, while you two comb through the loot and figure out what exactly you want Meat Shield to pick up. Because in a dungeon, you can't interact with anything. Sitting inside a protective field that essentially renders you invisible to foes, you're unable to pick up any items and must direct your Meat Shield to pick up anything good. But be careful, your bags aren't bottomless and you might have to prioritize what goodies you're bringing back. Another thing to remember is that if your meat shield goes down in the dungeon, you lose almost everything you'd found. You have to bring him into your protective field in order to carry him back up to the surface, and tier a special box that will only hold one item for you within the field, so you have to choose wisely. Overall, Reset Tier is a really well-made game. The controls are a little funky off the bat, and you have to run a special little program to change that, but that's reasonably minor, and the game provides that program for you. This is actually a pretty good game to give kids because it does actually have a fairly sound basis in the mercantile arts. You get to design your own shop, deciding how it gets laid out and what items get the front window spotlight, the better to draw in customers, my dear. And who doesn't get a little bit of glee from wringing every bit of money you can from some unsuspecting schmuck? The only real problem with that is that, well, the time between when you have to make loan payments is a little unrealistically short. And by a little, I mean really unrealistically short. You have a week to raise $10,000 to pay off your first loan payment. And the amount that you have to pay back just keeps going up. And, of course, while all this is happening, you're keeping an eye on your funds, because you really do got a loan payment to make. Or else you lose the house. And probably your kidneys. That's it from me, gamers. I will see you with a new budget next time on... The Bargain Bin.